Now, if I ever tell my students to update the software on their CPXB, these are the steps that you need to follow. Now, the only reason I've set up this Google Drive for my students is because we're working with alpha version software and they may be frequent updates before we're done with the semester. Now, in order to get students up and running quickly, I have put a Google Drive up at bit.ly slash cpxb-installation-profg. Now, it's always best to go to Adafruit's site and download the latest version of CircuitPython for the CPXB and the libraries. But if you're one of my students in October of 2019, we're working with some alpha versions of the software. It might be updated frequently. I may ask you to update the files on your CPXB. So this video is going to show you how to do that quickly. So what I want you to do is to highlight all of the files that you see here, right click, select download. I'm gonna save mine to the desktop. I'll speed up the video here. And then once it's downloaded, you can minimize your browser, double click on the zip file that will uncompress or extract the files into a folder with the same name. You can throw the zip file into the trash now. Then plug one end of your USB cable into your computer. My Mac is one of the newer models, so I need a USB-C adapter. Plug the other end into the CPXB. It only fits in one way on the silver side. Then just double press on the reset button right in the center of the CPXB. The lights on your CPXB should turn green. If that doesn't happen, just double click the reset button again. Now Mac users might see this disk not ejected properly message up top. If you ever do, just ignore the message and click close. And you'll also see that your CPXB's name will change. It will now say C Play Boot. Then I'm going to double click this folder that I just uncompressed. And the first thing that I'm going to drag over to CPlay boot is this file that ends in UF2. That's going to put the latest version of CircuitPython onto my board. I'll get this eject message if I'm on the Mac. I can click close. And at this point, we've got CircuitPython installed on our CPXB. Now we also need these library helper files. They're all in this LIB folder. And also click on this versions.txt file. Drag both of these over into CircuitPy. Let go. If it says replace it all, go ahead and click to replace. And we've got the latest version of CircuitPython installed on our CPXB. So if I ever ask you to update the software on your CPXB, this is all you need to do. Good work.